the next component that we'll be looking at will be the menu so what are the menu so menus are used to display the list of choices which we can select so they are just a list of choices like a dashboard menu in which we can select an option of where we want to go and it works dynamically on a click of an element like a button or we can have a state of when to open and it has a menu item component to add the content inside that and each menu item can have its own callback function so this is about the menu and now we can see some properties of the menu so the first very important property of the menu is the anchor element so what is an anchor element so anchor element is the property which is very important and we need to specify that on which element we need to open this menu so on which element we need to open this menu and when the element will be selected it will open the list on that elements position so if we have a button so once we will click on the button so it will select the position and the anchor to the button and it will open the list of the menu to that button only the anchor element is used to set the anchor position and then we have the additional properties like we can have a open so whenever the open will be true and then only the menu will be opened and in the on close so whenever the menu will be closed we need to specify a callback function we need to perform a task and then we have the sx prop for the styling of the list so this is all about the menu so now we can just move on to the material ui website to search about the menu so now you can see this is the menu api and you can see about the menu you can just pass some props like the anchor element the autofocus you can have a children you can have on close and you can have so many properties and now you can just move on directly to the menus and now you can see the menus display a list of choices on the temporary surface and you can see more about the menus here like you can see this is a basic menu and then you can just read about that like you can see we have discussed the dashboard like once we will click on the dashboard now you can see we have the profile we have the my account we have the logout options so these are about the menus or how the menus are used and now you can see this is also a menu and now you can see in our mobile devices also this is also a menu of the notification and now you can see this is a position menu so once we will click on the dashboard so now you can see the dashboard will disappear and now the menu will be there so these are some additional properties of the menus now you can see we can have a more css styling on the menus so these are all about the menus and these are all optional so you can just learn about them so now we will move on to the visual studio code to create a demo of the menu so here now into the vs code so now we need to import something from the material ui so it will be the menu so we can just import the menu and now inside this div now we can add a menu so we can just add a menu and then as we have specified it needs an anchor element so we can just have an anchor element and for the anchor element we need the state because the whenever the element will be clicked so it will open the menu on that element only so we can just have a state for that so we can just grab a use state so the use state is here and then we can have an anchor element and the set anchor element and by default value will be the null and then we need to import the use state as well now the use state is also imported and now the second prop that we need to pass so it will be the anchor element and now the second prop that we need to pass is the open so when we want to open the menu so we can just have a open and for the open also now we need to add a state of the open so we can have a state of the open and the set open and by default value will be equals to the false because initially we don't want it to be open and then we can just pass the open equals to the open and after the open now we need to pass the own close prop so for the own close so in the own close now we need to remove the anchor element from there so in the own close now the anchor element will be set to null again so we can just have a function as the handle close so the handle close is there and now we can just move the menu and now inside the menu now we can have the menu item as we have discussed in the ppt so the menu item is used to add the item inside this menu so and in the menu item now now we need to add here the on click so whenever the menu item will be clicked now we need to close the menu as well so for that now we need to just point to the handle close again handle close function and now we can just add a value as it can be a profile and then we can just copy and then we can just paste another menu item like three more menu items like we can have a balance and then we can have a logout option there to the logout so this is about the menu and now we can just have the functions like we can have a cons at the handle close will be equals to the function and then we can just have the set anchor element will be equals to the null and then we can have a set open 
to the false so this is what we want to do inside the handle close function and now we need to add here the button as well to open this so we can just have add a button here we can add a app bar here we can add a typography here and so many things but now the most comfortable thing is the button so we can add a button and then we can just define the variant will be equal to the contained and then we can have a on click prop to the button as well so it will be the on click and then in the on click now we can have a handle click function to add a callback there so we can just have a handle click function there as well const as the handle click will be equal to the function which will get an event as the parameter and now in the handle click function now whenever the button will be clicked now we need to set the anchor element of the menu to this button so for that we can just have a set anchor element now to set the anchor element now we need to pass the target of this button so for that we need to pass the event dot current target so it will be the current target so now this will help us so if i will now save if i will now move on to the application once again if i will now move on to the react app now you can see now we have the button but now there is nothing on the button so if we can add a button like it will be the open menu so if i will now save now you can see we have the open menu so once i will click on that now you can see nothing happens and that's because we didn't add the open prop inside this handle click so for that now whenever the button will be clicked now we need to add the open as well so it will be the set open and whenever the button will be clicked so the list will be opened so if i will now save and refresh again once i will click on the menu like now you can see the profile balance and the logout so now you can see the menu is now open and once i will click on any of the list item like the balance now you can see the list will be closed so this is how the menu works in the material ui so all of the things are now working fine and we can add one more button there as well like it can be a button and then we can just have on click prop there as well so whenever the so whenever now this button will be clicked and we can open the menu on this button as well so for that we can just have a handle click again like it will be handle click and then we can have a second button as the open menu again so if i will now save if i will now move over to the application once again so now if i will now just click on this button so the current target will move on to this button and the list will open on this element now you can see once i will click on this element open menu again now you can see the list is now opening on this menu now so this is about the anchor element how the anchor element is working so it is setting the anchor property to the button stack or we can just add more tags here like the text field we can add an app bar we can have so many tags so this is how the menu works and the anchor element works so this is all about the menus